your question was fundamentally, what is value communities all about? Yeah, good. Let me answer it using these slides. The fundamental issue that we're seeking to address and the fundamental problem that we've discussed in this meeting earlier is how do communities fund themselves? It was the lady over here that talked about she was paying her fees to the organisation, the organisation then paid to the state, the state then paid to the next level up, to the next level up, but there was no money coming back down and you were fed up with how much money you were paying and not getting much for it. Am I correct? Thank you. So the fundamental issue is how do communities fund themselves? We all know that the traditional fundraising mechanisms are becoming less effective. There was a lady over here who talked about how her son no longer goes out and seeks sponsorships to walk around the Oval. We have we just talked very quickly about money always going to the top and it'll coming back down. And there was the gentleman over here who was talking about the limited returns. Yep, the barbecue. The barbecue outside the Bunnings warehouse or the Home Depot on a weekend where you have to buy all of the food in advance. It might get rained off. You have to pay for it, eat all the food or throw it out afterwards. And yes, that was gentlemen over there. You mentioned the Cadbury's chocolates with the 50% going to Cadbury's and the rest coming to you plus your time and effort. And there was the person, yes, the young gentleman over here who was disengaged with volunteerism and the lack of support from volunteers because we're now time poor and the fact that they are becoming in some respects the next class of slave labour. From an organisation's point of view, there are the compliance issues. We all seek transparency and accountability around our funds. Organisations have the issue of needing to re-engage with the base. And one of the big problems is, is that organisations are not geared to receive the different payment mechanisms. So whether you pay by PayPal, whether you pay by BPay, whether you pay on your iPhone, many organisations are not geared up to it and this makes fundraising difficult and payments of fees harder for the organisation. Now, we all know the need to fund grassroots, but why don't we support it more? One of the big reasons is because we're tired of being asked. It's not of interest to us, we don't get any real benefit from it, and we do not know what happens to the funds. We talked earlier on about contributing to famine in North Africa, and as long as I can remember, that's been a problem. Of all the money that's been tipped into there, we don't see any outcomes for it, we still see the problems. We talked about the decline of volunteerism and one of the reasons that you don't want to pay is because your hard earned money is paying for paid staff to do these things when you're expected to still be a volunteer. And one of the big ones is fundraising is organisation centric. The organisation comes to you and say pay for this. The organisation says, can you help with this? Can you pay for this? It, it's about you selecting where you want to spend your funds and your money, and when you get a return for it, you will spend more. So, what we've done is we're trying to address this fundamental issue of how do communities fund themselves. What we are doing is providing a set of tools. 
we are providing a platform for fundraising, payments and community engagement. This platform is often out of the reach of many small to medium organisations and we offer things that even the tier one charities don't have. One of the big ones we do is the end-to-end -end and integrated solution. So what that means is this. From the minute you put money in and you start to raise funds or contribute to the moment those funds are received back at the organization's bank account tagged for the specific purpose on which to use those funds you can you have total transparency over the process then because you have all of the tools you have all the documented evidence and those sort of things you can then use that to make sure that what those funds were raised for is delivered by the organization. From a fundraising point of view, it's cost effective, it's better returns, and biggest of all is the funding is direct to grassroots organizations for the purpose for which funds were raised. It gives the organization sustainable revenues, it allows you to engage with a much wider audience and the big ones is transparency and compliancy. So the issue that we are addressing is how do communities fund themselves? We provide a set of tools to allow grassroots communities to do that. Does that answer your question? Thank you.